Hey everybody, Lee Frazier here, Maya Technical Specialist for Autodesk. The other day someone asked me how to get a boat to float on some water. And so in this example we're going to take a look at how to do exactly that using BOSS and some tools that you may or may not be familiar with already. So in my scene I have a boat that I got from Turbo Squid. Thanks for letting me use that guys. Uh, I have a great HDRI from HDRI Haven. Greg Zoll has a great set of a variety of different situations that make for great backgrounds like this one. And I have my boss plane as my output. Now in the past, of course, we've had the ocean tool that allows us to use an ocean shader to drive floating objects and motorboats inside of Maya, but I wanted to use Boss to drive the animation of my boat. And to do that, I'm going to get some information from my, from my Boss surface here from an intersecting piece of geometry. I'm just going to select both pieces of geometry, and I'm going to go into my rendering menu set. And under Tune, I'm going to assign a Tune Outline to this. And the Tune Outline is great. It's been around for a long time. It basically creates a paint effect stroke around varying degrees of points on your geometry. I'm actually going to turn all of that off except for the intersection lines. I'm going to turn down my profile lines and my crease lines. Uh, let's get the border lines, rather. Let's turn that down. And all I'm interested in is if I open up the intersection information, this piece of geometry, this information right here. If I hit play you can see that that dynamically updates with the boss output. That allows me to then create a curve using my modify convert paint effects to curves menu and just like that we have a dynamic curve that I can now use as a motion path. I also have the ability to go in and select an edge loop and change the direction of that curve. There's lots of things that we can do with this. It provides a lot of really cool flexibility. So boat curve really simply. I'm going to go into my animation menus, go into my motion path and attach it to the motion path. In this case you can see that it's going the wrong direction. That's super simple to rectify or change inside of Maya. I can just go in and reverse that direction and just like that I've got my boat moving down the motion path. One thing you'll notice about this is because there's so much data in this curve and it gets rebuilt every frame, there's a couple of pops. So I want to fix that really quickly. I'm going to select my boat. I'm going to bake out this animation. And once that's done, we're going to take a look at the graph editor and delete some keys. So there we are. Let's open up the graph editor. And really easily you can see where those spikes are and which keyframes we need to delete. And by deleting that, I wind up getting rid of those pops. So that just essentially is it moving forward and backward. And you can see that even the pop on the curve still gets retained. So the only problem I have now is the X rotation is a little bit abrupt. I might even want to get rid of some of these. There's still a little bit of hiccuping in the Y, but we'll leave that. The rotation in X is almost looks like a four-wheel drive vehicle going down the road. So I want to smooth that out, and that's super simple to do just by selecting the curve. And under the Curves menu, there is a Simplify Curve command. And just like that, that allows us to smooth out that animation and give us a much more gentler ride, but still retain a little bit of the bumpiness that you see inside the waves. So hopefully this gives you some good ideas on how you can generate some waves of your own or generate some animation of your own. The this lends itself really well to different sizes of boats. Obviously, we can update the, the boss output and change the animation really easily. And ultimately, I hope that that, uh, that floats your boat. Thanks for watching.